Are you guys struggling with your Wi-Fi speed being so, so slow like mine right now? At the start of this video, I'm going to be doing a speed test and by the end, we'll see what difference I can make with my Wi-Fi speed. So right now, I'm on 12 ping with 44 Mbps, which is absolutely terrible. If you guys have similar to this, I promise you by the end of this video, you will get about 100, 120 Mbps, boys. Let's get straight into this Wi-Fi tweaking video. And if you can, please do leave a like, please do subscribe, as these Wi-Fi tweaks did take me ages to learn, but it is so worth it, boys. Okay, this first part of the video, I just want to explain to you why your Wi-Fi could be stuttering so, so much. One reason is, is because you're on the network band of 2.4 gigahertz, which is so slow. You need to be on the most updated network band, which is five gigahertz. If you're on five gigahertz, it is literally double the speed of 2.4. If you're on 50 Mbps download right now, you will be on 100 if you do these steps in the video. I will show you, but I will have to stop to a point as it will show you my IP address. So for you guys to know, head over to the windows at the bottom left, click onto settings. Whilst you're on settings, head over to network and internet. Click onto network and internet. Here's your Wi-Fi. Click onto properties. Once you're on this page, boys, I'm not going to do it in the video as I'm afraid it will just leak so much of my IP address, literally everything. Scroll down with your mouse wheel. And on the left bottom side, it should somewhere say network band. For me, it is 2.4 gigahertz right now. I will show you how to get five. If you're on five right now, that is completely perfect. We'll get you up to speed even further. But if you're not on five, you need to do these steps right now that I'm going to show you. So we can close this. That is completely fine to do. One thing that we're going to be doing, head over to the search bar, search device manager make it full screen as well until we see network adapters for me i am on a wireless internet connection getting 50 mbps which is not good we can get this much faster even if you're on internet do these steps that i'm about to tell you so for me this is my network realtech 881 for most of you it will be this as well right click onto this click onto properties this pops up click on advance all of these now pop up one of the main reasons I was on 2.4 gigahertz is because it's enabled. And I promise you, for most of you watching this video, the VHT 2.4 gigahertz will also be enabled. If you do see a 5 gigahertz right here, just enable the 5 gigahertz on top of the 2.4. For me, I just have 2.4. To force enable the 5 gigahertz without having the setting here, all we're going to do is literally disable the 2.4 gigahertz. It is that easy. Once you do click OK, your Wi-Fi will cut out. As you will see in the video, my Wi-Fi is cut out, no internet. It's looking for that 5 gigahertz band. It will take a second and now we're up. We will be on 5 gigahertz right now. To you make your Wi-Fi that much faster, we're going to be going back onto properties. Remember, right click on the Realtek. If you're using Ethernet, it will be something else. But for me, it's wireless. If you're using wireless, it will be Realtek for you. Click on advanced wireless mode and it is on auto. Auto will scan all of these, but one of the IEEs is the fastest network you can possibly get. And the one we're looking for is the 802.11ac. This is the fastest value you can possibly get. If you manually click onto this, it will force this value every single time you load up your PC. So the two things you want to do on this page is the 244 gigahertz, you, that is absolutely terrible. You do not want that. Disable that wireless mode, i.e. 802.11ac. Once you've done with this, this page is done. Trust me, just doing these two things will speed up your Wi-Fi so, so much, but we can make it even faster. Press OK, and again, it should take a second. Remember, this time your Wi-Fi cuts out because it's looking for the IE this time. It will connect very soon though, like mine is connected right now. Once we're done with this, you can close that. This time, head over to the search bar, search control panel. Once we're on control panel, network and internet, don't click the top one. Instead, view network status and tasks. Right here is my internet. There's a hyperlink. Everyone, click onto this hyperlink. This pops up. Click onto properties, and here we are. There are some settings that you can have off right here, and these are the settings you don't want. This is causing strain on your Wi-Fi, as your Wi-Fi is just constantly looking for these settings, which you don't need. So first one to turn off is file and printer. Turn this off. QoS packet scheduler. Turn that off. Microsoft network adapter. 
turn that off. These three you can have turned off, your Wi-Fi will be faster as there's no strain on it. One important key thing that I want to talk you guys through is the Internet Protocol version 4. I'm sure many of you have seen this in other PC tweaking videos. I'm going to quickly go through it as well. Click onto Properties whilst you're on uh, the Internet Protocol version 4. Properties. This is what you want to do. On the bottom DNS server, click Use the following DNS server addresses. This is a DNS server that is specifically made for gaming. Preferred DNS server, you want 1111. Doing this, your ping will be so, so much lower. For the alternative DNS server, 1001. This DNS server is literally for gaming. Your ping will be so, so low. This is what the pros use for their DNS server. Obviously, you guys will want to copy that. Make sure the validate settings upon exit is unchecked. Once you've done with this, click on to OK. That is that tweak done as well. Again, we're going to be clicking the X. You don't need to save any points right here. For this next part of the video, we're going to be speeding up your processor, which will then in fact lower your ping as well, as your Wi-Fi is going to be so much faster because your PC is overall faster as well. Make sure you head over to the search bar, search system configuration, run this as admin. Once we're on here, this pops up. Make sure you're on general, head over to the third box. Make sure you check the third box. And these are the two that you want ticked. Load system services, load st startup items. Make sure those are ticked. That is the first thing that you want to do here. Head over to boot on the second time. My timeout seconds is on three seconds. I'm going to explain to you if you should pick zero to five seconds. The better your PC is, the lower timeout you want. So for me, I have a Ryzen 7. I, mine's an average CPU, so I've clicked pretty much the middle number, which is 3 seconds. If you have a bad CPU like a Ryzen 3, change this to 5. If you have a Ryzen 9, for example, change it to 0 seconds. If you're not sure on your CPU or how good it is, leave it down in the comments and I'll tell you the exact timeout that you guys need to pick. Once you're on boot, you can click onto advanced number of processors. Some of you may have this box unticked. That means no processors are going to be working when you boot your PC up. So click this box. Some of you will default beyond one. That means one out of my 16 processors when I load up will be working. So my PC could be 16 times faster, but I would not know as I've only clicked one. So make sure you click the maximum amount. Some of you have eight, some of you have four, some 12, some 16, some even 32, which your PC would run so, so crazily good. So, so for me at 16, click on 16, make sure PCIe lock is unticked, debug is also unticked. Once you've done this, click OK, apply. Remember, always apply it and OK. Remember, if you need any help, leave it down in the comments and I will help you guys. OK, for these next two tweaks, I will be going through it so, so quickly as they are super, super basic tweaks. Then the final part of the video, I will show the Ookla speed test again and see if my Wi-Fi is improved or not. So right here, we want to click over to your Wi-Fi logo, right click onto it, click troubleshoot. Some of you might be thinking, Jinji, why on earth are we doing a troubleshoot right now? As sometimes, genuinely, it does come up with a problem. For me right now, troubleshooting couldn't identify a problem. That is completely fine. But you guys watching the video, please, please, every time you do have packet loss, head over to the Wi-Fi logo, right click and troubleshoot it. Every slight inconvenience with your Wi-Fi, troubleshoot. That is exactly what I do. Most often than not, the troubleshooter does identify the problem. And if it does, your Wi-Fi is literally fixed just like that. Okay, for this last part of the tweak, I want you to head over to the search bar again. This time, search device manager. I know we've done this earlier on in the video, but we have to quickly go through this last step. Whilst we're on here, find network adapters. Same as before, mine's Realtek. Make sure you try and update the driver. Search automatically for drivers, and there we go. The best drivers for my device are already installed. Some of you may be having an old PC right now, and your drivers are not the best that it could be, which obviously, you obviously want the best drivers. The best drivers, the quicker your internet. Once you've done with this, you can close that, and those are the tweaks for your Wi-Fi now done. I still have the Google Chrome open from when I last did it earlier on the video. 45.51 for the download, 19.9 for the upload. Obviously, there is no way that I can script this in any single way. I've literally had Google Chrome open 
every part of the video you can go through my YouTube video. And boys, if my Wi-Fi is faster, please do subscribe, please do leave a like and comment if I did help your Wi-Fi as well, as I'm very sure most of your ping will go good down in game and let me know what it did go down to. So let's test this Wi-Fi out, see if it is genuinely faster or not. Remember, we through this video, we've enabled 5 gigahertz. We've made sure that my wife is on the fastest band it could be. Already, we're on 10 ping. And the most notable, we are on 107 Mbps. This is crazy. I was literally on 40 Mbps at the start of this video. Literally 8 minutes ago, I've doubled my Wi-Fi speed. The main reason this was, was because of the 2.4 to 5 gigahertz. I'm just proving to you guys how quickly you can actually tweak your PC if someone knows what they're doing. There we go boys, 108, we've doubled our Wi-Fi speed. Guys, I hope you like the video and I will bring more out further on this week.